Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Okay, so now as we can see here, I did some modifications to this page and the UI looks a bit different. So here is the thing, Okra and you will see a bunch of stuffs here in Okra and you will have a next and a previous button. I do next, supposed to show me the next items and which is working as expected. Now one issue is that we would like to see kind of a loading screen at this point. So how are we going to handle this? Let me show you that. So we are supposed to have a loading state at this point. So const loading set loading and use state initially it will be false so what happens is whenever i try to do an api call at this stage i would like to set the loading state to true that i'm trying to do something and then what would happen is as soon as i get a result here if i set an uh, at a set a result i'm supposed to set loading to false okay and we will be passing the loading state into the result component so <coughs> loading will be passed in this way in the result i go into Okay, so first of all, if it's loading, so it's supposed to be before map and here somewhere. So loading and do loading. Let's try this. I haven't destructured it, so I'll have to let's try if it auto imports, which it didn't, because this would be asking for too much. So okay, loading and let's check what do we have here hello loading perfect it is working as we expected so now what i want to do here is i would like to show uh let me make another component for loading so new file to add uh, this component will just be a uh, an image and that's it so react functional component arrow function and the thing is that I would like to show it in the center so I'll need to do some necessary modifications src equals to I'll take a gif this is the one which I would like to take and here it is alt loader loader and okay this is good height equals to 50 pixel style display flex justify content center if you are not aware of flexbox this is flexbox and we might make another video for flexbox sometime but yeah okay so what do we have here in result we are supposed to pass it right so where is it loader here it is so i'm going to pass in loading from the loading component and it auto imported which is great and let's see what do we have here okay there's nothing and cherry 
Okay, nice. Now I see that 50 is not a good number. So I'll change it to 250. Let's see what do we get. Banana. And this is awesome. Let's try jelly. Okay, so this is something what we don't expect. So gelato. Okay, so but this is not a bad thing that we do have a small loader. Hmm, let me think how are we supposed to handle this? Or we can even keep it, it's it's no big deal. Hmm. Okay, we can do one thing in result. So where is this result? Mm, okay, so it's recipes dot map, right? So we can have one thing like loading. If it's true, you're not supposed to show this. So I can do this. If no loading, that's when you are supposed to show the map. Let us try. Banana, okay, which is good. Now I can try cherry. Okay, this is good as well. And potato. Nice, and we'll do the same thing for, I added these two components, right? The previous and the back. So, you display it when these two conditions will match. One is recipe length is uh, greater than zero and the second should be if it is not loading. That's when you are supposed to show this. So I'll copy and paste the same thing here. And this is perfect. So garlic nice and clear orange this is really good okay for a smaller version it will be or uh, precisely it's mobile version okay so something I don't like let me even change the size mm, it's in the result and here it is m4 i don't like it let me change it to m6 okay so we'll have five items potato i mean like five rows yeah one, two, three, four, five. Nice. This is good. This is pretty. Okay. So this is good. Nice. All right. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We can make this thing more beautiful, like having a better UI. But the best uh, thing what I wanted you guys to know was about the API interaction and the more you do projects, the better you will be in React because that's how we have learned it. And yeah, using these frameworks, CSS frameworks can be a challenge sometime. But of course, these things, they give you a lot of stuff out of the box. So, uh, oh, I, I forgot one thing and that thing is about this making this as a link so a h ref recipe dot it's gonna be something but let me try and figure out what it is okay <clears throat> hmm. Here it is. okay i will even solve the error these errors which we are getting and the URL so URL and the reason why we are getting these errors as you can see here 
it is supposed to have a unique key. So let's try and add the unique key here. Map ingredients key equals to I'll have an index at the end. So key equals to index, which is good. Where is another map? Map. We have it at two places. So here it is done. I need to do it for this guy. Index and key equals to index. All right, great. Most probably these errors should go away. Okay, there's one little error left, but let's try the other one. So butter. Okay, so we don't get any other error. There's just one, which is in on line 28, I guess. Yeah, class name. All right, perfect. So this is it for this tutorial. And try to share this with your friends who are really interested in React. And we will be posting other tutorials. And those tutorials will be in GraphQL. And... <clears throat> even react native we are trying to get into react native so thank you for watching this series and uh, we would really appreciate your feedback so please let us know what do you think about these projects also if you have any project ideas like for tutorial purposes do let us know we would really really appreciate that and see you next time and take care have a good week bye bye